this is the story of me and my mate Michael pranked our local Porsche dealership. Right guys, so this is gonna be legit. Leho ni hao, xin chao, hola, namaste, kamsamida, ciao. In case you haven't been on this channel before, I'm YC and this is Cheeky and Cultured. And if you're a returner, welcome back. And today, yes, we're talking about something that I personally did two years ago with my mate Michael, whom I went to Tibet with last summer. Right, welcome to the first baggage shacking championship. We've got two competitors <laughs> and um, Oh, seems like it's half time now. But yeah, that video is also coming out at some point. But yeah, I'm doing it all on myself. Edit, film, plot. So yeah, takes a while. So the story starts like this. We're both fresh off school. Uh, we're 18 and we're just trying to make it in life. What better way to celebrate the end of our exam by go visiting some car dealers. And after we checked out a secondhand shop, we were like, why not step it up a notch and spice it up a bit? Why not just go to those biggies and troll them, you know, just for the sake of it? Because we've seen loads of videos of people, you know, pulling that gold digger prank on car salesmen. Since those big time salesmen got nothing to do, ever since the introduction of the uh, heavier taxation system for brand new cars, private vehicles in Hong Kong. So we might as well be like, do you know what? Let's give them a good time and see what happens. And so that's what we did. That's the initial idea. But yeah, of course, when we're talking about stuff at this level, it requires a lot of planning. Me and Michael, we had a chat and we listed out all the possible victims or car dealers that we might be interested in looking into. That's just to increase our chance of success. Step two, we have to look convincing. Michael is a bit of a musician. He's done a lot of like classical music shows in the past. He knows how to dress well. He decided to go for a full suit. A full set of bloody suit when it wasn't even working hour. So who the hell would turn up to a car dealership in a suit? I have simply got no idea why he did that. But apparently, according to him, he pulled it off. Meanwhile, for me, I basically got my inspiration from the American frat boys or any agricultural boys that you see at uni. No offense, but that's how they dress. Not gonna lie, I quite like it because it looks quite sharp. So I immediately pulled out my brightest shorts in red and I topped it off with a white shirt because that's what I thought would be appropriate. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're, you know, you're chilling on a yacht. That's sort of vibe. You know, I've spoken to Michael to make sure he's gonna act accordingly and mature. Yeah, very mature, innit? Very mature. Yeah, mature in the f***ing suit. <laughs> and we talked about the roles that we'll be playing. I'm either a solicitor or an IT manager working for an international consultancy. And here's the conversation of me and Michael when we are catching up yesterday and we've definitely brought up this funny encounter again. YouTube. This is my mate, Michael. Michael, this is YouTube. Screw you, YouTube. You suck. <laughs> You're doing all these fake ads, trying to scam Bruh, literally, <laughs> you're destroying my career for me right now. What is yeah, going you better add that into a video right now. I'm definitely adding that into <laughs> you, you ain't got no career yet. <laughs> nah, 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 because we've, we're over the guy from, uh, from Porsche two years. <laughs> Yep, yep, we sure did, yeah. So yeah, basically, tell us what happened that day from your perspective. No, how about you tell, tell us from your okay, perspective? Okay, so guys? now what we're going to do right now is that we're going to tell you guys exactly what happened from both of our perspectives. So it's all, it's all going to match up and no one's going to comment down below and be like, I'm just a lying fucker because I'm not. I'm telling you the truth. You right. remember? I was wearing a suit, so I was pre pretending I was really pretentious and shit. 
Yep. Yeah. So we kind of got our way into that with me trying to persuade that guy that I- I'm trying to buy a car and shit, which I obviously wasn't. Yeah, and, also, and there's this little gonna... dickhead here trying to trying to screw over me and by saying all these weird shits and um, trying to start a real conversation with that salesman and we almost got caught. Mate, and seriously, so... I must no, say, no. I must say, <laughs> who the fuck would have worn a fucking suit in the middle of summer? It's not even like lunch, like lunchtime. Every single oh. same person who was rich enough to purchase a car. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. That came, <laughs> that came up from nowhere. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. We got a little brochure, and he was trying to actually sell us a proper car. I, 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 I wasn't sure what was it. I think it was like a 911. No, I think we started off with the Macan, and then the guy yeah, was the like, first, yeah. Yeah. since you lot are quite young, yeah. We might want you to look into like Porsche 911 because I remember Porsche 911, look- yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you're literally looking into the uh, the Carrera, like the base model. Yes. And for me, I was like, yeah. I like the Cayman because it's smaller. I like small cars. Smaller, yeah. And literally, he was like, just drop us your contact and shit. The We're contact, your like, address, yeah, the emails and shit. And I actually did my legit email. Yeah, you literally <laughs> got a legit, like, you know, personal message from the guy. And he was like, We're going to arrange the. Um, Test drive uh, soon. Test drive, uh, is, yeah, are you going yeah. to be free on that day? Because yeah. literally, I got the same thing as well for the Cayman. You did? Yeah, I did. Because <laughs> I gave him my number. <laughs> so we are in your mom's golf. You just got a little bit of laugh. Like, you know, we're not trying to like put anyone down. A bit of laugh and a bit of love, you know, like treating everyone as an equal. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, because we're, we're consumers that are potentially going to purchase a car either at the present or probably in the future. Yeah. If you think about it, right? So the guy was like, yeah, we literally have been sent to like, sent into a room, says exclusive mm-hmm. to customers only. This guy's wearing a shirt. And so we got, got some wheels on here and nasty boxer and Cayenne. Dude, we just fooled him. <laughs> we just fooled the fucking guy. <laughs> he managed yeah. to make like every customers or customers students <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> interested and exclusive to them special yep. to them here's a pile of brochures that you might be interested in yep. uh, now that you, you've shown interest in the 718 Porsche 911 yep. correct and out of respect we got into the lounge also exactly and it was like do you want yeah. some stuff and we're like fair enough what do you have and it was like business coffee tea we got yeah. served I mean, it was great. Like, you know, no matter who you are, we are equals. And uh, I mean, that's what we did. Like, you know, the guy was like, um, you know, here's my contact. Here's my card. If you come back to me, I'm going to give you a special discount. Like, mate, we haven't got the money. I mean, back then we haven't got the money. Or maybe not now. Not not do we now. Not not yet. Not yet. (laughs) Not yet. If this video blows up and fuck (laughs) yes, we're going to spend the money. And be like, I'm gonna buy the fucking car. We're gonna buy the fucking car now. Yeah, exactly. We're yeah, buying that yeah. Porsche. You know. Yeah, it's more like being a human. You know. Mm, it's it's like being... treating you like with respect. Yeah. Friend of mine, her husband mm-hmm. went there to get a car. So basically, yeah. he owned he owned this uh, restaurant in in mm-hmm. Hong Kong, selling yep. noodles and stuff. But it's you know, it's a bit of a. I mean, he's comfortable, but he loves right, dressing yeah. up like. A uh, what's the word? A um, how to describe it? A uh, an Asian, uh, an Asian hipster, you say? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta piss off a little people on that. And hence why my video is gonna get demo- demo- de- 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 demonetized because of you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> He's wearing this wife beater uh, shorts yep. with like flip flops. Quite questionable mm-hmm. look in terms of fashion. <laughs> And, yep. you, know, it's, you know, it's questionable in a lot of ways. And yep. we, w- we walked into Jack and Land Rover trying to buy this brand new XE mm-hmm. from Jaguar. Yeah. And literally, every time he goes, you know, goes in the showroom, no one gives a fuck about him because he looks poor. And he, he, and he looks skeptical enough like, to whatever. even walk in there. And yeah. it wasn't until, like, he, he walked up to the guy who sent the car and be like, I want that car in mm-hmm. red by the end of this week. Mm-hmm. And they were like, still stick skeptical, like who the hell is this guy who just walked into our showroom? Um, pulled out his, you know, his credit card. They did a background check, credit check, being like, oh, this is legit, right? Yeah. So what do you want? He was like, I want the top spec 
three mm. liter V6 XE. XE, and yeah. Literally, they were like, "What?" It's <laughs> been like, "What?" But then they were like, "Sorry, we don't have the car right now. Can you have it later?" But it was mm. like, "Now nah, screw that. I want that car in red. That model red, yeah. red by the end of this week." So <laughs> he went for the two liter. Not as powerful, but still a great car. But still a great and car, yeah. He's driving yeah. these days. It's been like almost six years now. So, yes, yeah, mm-hmm. good for him. And that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, you know, never judge a book by its cover. That's what I'm saying. Well, I, mean, I mean, you should, but yeah. Now, <laughs> equally, like, you know, when we were there, I think we were quite obvious in a way. Like, you know, in all fairness, two young guys walking into, the, you know, the, the thing with a go. around. <laughs> so, with all due respect, Porsche, Hong Kong, Please, Kai, Porsche. Thank you, we really appreciate it. We were by no means trying to ruin the guy's career because at the end of the day, we texting it back by saying like, you know, sorry, we're not interested, but we're gonna give you a good customer feedback. And that helped him for his promotion. So yeah, we've done well. I think, you know, we've done him justice. We've done ourselves justice as well. Bit of a fun one. It's a bit of a life lesson as well for us to, to learn about, you know, What's it like to be an adult? Well, now we're adults, two years down the line, we're still very eager to do it again. That's it for the video. If you like what you've seen, please comment, like, subscribe, and share. It's not very difficult, four terms only. So yeah. And make sure you send a <laughs> this little fucker here. <laughs> yep. That is how I get demonetized. Yep. Screw you, man. Screw you too. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>